In this video, we're going to look at how we can code the insertion sort algorithm in MATLAB. This search, this search algorithm has the following algorithmic process. We start by iterating through the array for i is equal to 2 to n. We then define a variable in the workspace where we say the value of this variable is equal to the value of the array at index i. We will call this variable val. We then define the j index as being equal to i minus 1. We then have to perform a check which must satisfy two conditions. These conditions being, is the j value greater than or equal to 1? If it is greater than or equal to 1, and the value we've defined here is greater than the array at the j value, then both these conditions have been satisfied and we can then order the we can then change the order of the array so we do this by moving the array at j to j plus one and we then decrease the value of j by one once these conditions are no longer satisfied we have to then set the array at j plus one to be equal to this variable that we defined in memory now if this is confusing this if this if this sounds confusing it often can be but I'm hoping that by going through the code, it will become more clear in what is going on. So we'll start by defining our array as being a random integer between 1 and 10. And we will say we've got one, one row and 10 columns. We will then define our function, which will return an array. And I'm going to call this function insertion. And we're going to take in an array. We're going to start by saying n is equal to the size of the array in the second dimension, what well, the second axis. And we're going to start by iterating for i is equal to 2 to n. So that is the first that is the first step. The second step was to define our our variable we're going to call val, which is equal to the size of the array at i. And we then need to move on to step three, which was set j is being equal to i minus 1. So we now need to perform our check and we will do this inside a while statement. So we'll say while j is greater than and equal to 1 and the value is less than the array at j, we will say that the array at j plus 1 is equal to the array at j and we say j is equal to j minus 1. So we've just decreased the value of j and we've updated our j position. As you can see here, now once these, satisfy, once these conditions are no longer satisfied, we move on to the final step, which was to say the array at j plus j plus 1 is equal to the value. And that should be insertion sort. So let's say sorted array is equal to insertion of the array. I'm just going to uncomment both of these so we can see what the outputs are. And there we have it. You can see our array and our sorted array. Now we can visualize insertion sort by saying we will define an index which is going to go from 1 to the size of array in the second axis. We will say figure 1 clear axis and then we'll hold on and we'll say that points is equal to a bar graph of index array with a face color which is blue. We will turn the axis off and we'll set a y limit to be 0 to the maximum of array. Now what I'm going to do is pass into this array, we're going to pass in our points and so pass in our points variable and then after this update here we will say that points dot y data is equal to the array and we will draw now and I'm just going to add a small pause of zero points 
let's say one second because it will be relatively quick and we may not be able to see what is going on so let's run this now and let's just increase the size of the array that we've got so you can see shuffling them all along sorting the array and there we go so if we remove this pause you'll see it's actually very quick and if we again just increase let's say we can have up to a hundred values and there is the sort of algorithm taking place now we can at the moment we are organizing in ascending order so I'm just going to add a second mode where this mode is going to be descend so I'm already passing it through with the mode there and I'll say if the mode is equal to ascent um, ascent so we'll actually just change it to descent then we will perform this action else if the mode is equal to descent we just need to keep this the same but if the value of the array is actually greater we perform that action and then we end our statement and we can now organize in descending value so when the array has finished we will just set points dot face color is equal to to green that will let us know sorting has been completed and again it's a very fast process it's been slowed down by the fact we are plotting but you should be able to see that even if we have a thousand data points it's going to be able to organize through these data points relatively quickly. So that's going to wrap it up for the insertion sort algorithm. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. And as always,